And kids start to play. Oh, I saw him leave. Yeah, he's leaning really good. This is as fast as he'll go. And he's going full speed, folks, on these turns. This is absolutely awesome. Gordon, I think this guy's a success. Hey guys, Kids Toys Play here. Today we're gonna do a unique video. We're going to take our Lego Duplo Gordon and we're gonna see if we can not convert him into a fully functioning Lego train like Spencer here. So he's fully functioned on power functions right now. He runs, of course, on Lego uh, tracks and we're just gonna see if we can't do the same thing to Gordon. We just finished building the Emerald Knight and we got a lot of requests to do a Gordon. So we're gonna get rid of the Duplo tracks on both of this. We'll come back to the tender, but we'll get rid of all the Duplo track pieces anyways. And we'll concentrate on these two pieces. I have an idea. I think that we can keep this together as one piece and not have to file it in like we did with Spencer here. We had to grind this up a bit just to get the wires in there so we can put the sensor. With the new power functions that they just released, there is no sensor needed. It's just this piece right here, which is the battery box and the wheel system itself. And for that, I think that we can get away with not having to damage this piece at all with Gordon. The first Lego piece we're gonna get is this six by 24 train piece. This is the black, this is just basic black. We're going to throw Gordon on top of it with one bar space right there. And we'll put the back in as well. But you're gonna want a space about that big and this is gonna be relatively the size of Gordon. I'm gonna show you what we're gonna do right now. So the next thing we're gonna do is we got the brand new Power Functions box, they've got these really unique, I call them telephone plugins. We're gonna pop off the back and we're just gonna slide this in here. And you're gonna see how well it fits right there. So it actually does fit. There's a little bit of a space right there. We're gonna build up on the bottom right now. What I've got on the bottom is a black two by eight plate and right on top it's a two by four plate and it doesn't matter what color that is. We're just gonna pop that down right on there. We'll make sure it's nice and on there square and lined up perfectly like that. That's what it looks like from underneath. And we'll just slide this in here and push down on it. So now this piece is actually, it's Legoed right in there. If you, you take off the front piece of Gordon, you can see like that's basically what it's gonna look like. All right, so going back to what we have here, this is where Gordon's body's gonna be. We need to fill up this piece, don't we champ? This is a two by three black plate. It has to be black as well. We'll put right on the bottom there. Next thing we're gonna do is we've got this two by four black plate. This also has to be black and we're just gonna fit it right on top of this layer of black. And it's gonna create, you're gonna see, like look at the lines. You can see it right up to the red that it's all in line on this side. So now that our black is all lined up, the next color we need is? Rainbow. Red, uh, the other R word. So I've got two red plates put together, two by four red plates. We'll put that on top of two black plates. Full bricks are a little bit too large and you can see right here, how that they're lined up now, how the colors are pretty much lined up all together. Once it's down flat enough, it looks really sharp right there. And we've got his colors matched up. Now we just need to build up the body. We'll just concentrate on this side right now. What we're gonna need is a, we just need a one by two brick. It doesn't matter what color it is. And we need a two by two brick that's blue. The color is actual just blue. We're just gonna tuck it, oh. <laughs> yeah, we're gonna tuck it right in there. This brick right in there, the purple brick, if you can see inside there, should actually be fitting on the plates and make a secure connection. Right here, we're just gonna put another blue two by one brick. So you're gonna have a wall that kind of looks like that. And then we're gonna build up this wheel well right here. Okay, so we've got a two by one plate that's in blue, and we're gonna put that right in the middle. And we're gonna take another exact same blue, one by two, plate and put that in the middle there too. <laughs> then we've got this unique piece. This is kind of an interesting slope. This is like a one by two brick with a slope on top and it has that extra piece there. And we're gonna put one right there. Are you gonna put that side on? Yes. Okay, we'll put another exact same piece. So we need two of these pieces per side, four in total. And we'll put that on there. And then what do we have right on top? Here is a one by two plate with the outside has no bricks on it. And we're gonna put that right on top. So here we have, this is kind of an oddball fit, but if you go with the wheel wells here, this kind of sort of fits in there as well, and it really takes up the space. We have the colors matching with the black, the blue, or the black, the red, and the blue on top. So we'll just do the same thing to the other side using the exact same parts. We've already got that piece put together. Okay, and so from the top down, it looks just like this inside from the sides. It looks nice and uniform and nice and blue. Let's start building up what goes around the boiler. We're gonna get back with the blue plates now. This is a one by four blue plate. And we're going to put it right 
behind the wheel well there, and then we're gonna accompany it with a second one by four blue plate. And then from there, we're gonna put on a one by four brick. And that's gonna give us the right height that we need to come up the side of Gordon, but we need to slope, start sloping him over to shape his boiler. This is a slope, I forget the name of it exactly. Lego has unique names for these. It comes in blue, I found it up on Brick Lake, and we're just gonna put it right on top there. And we're gonna do the exact same thing to this side. William, are you ready? Yes. Wow, you work fast. So now that we've made it this far, what we're gonna do is we're just going to pop that off, just so we can look at it from the inside out. And we're gonna get the wheels in right now. So we've got the new module, this is the new train motor that goes with the pass the new passenger train, light passenger train I think is what they call it. It's got the unique plug-in, and we're gonna go through the only hole that's now open, which is the bottom hole. We're gonna make sure everything's lined up. We'll pop through there. And we'll go in and we'll just hit A. Doesn't really matter which side we'll hit, but just for the sake of argument, we'll hit A. We'll plop this piece into the middle of the three holes, just for now. And we'll just take this up and we're just going to tuck it gently. We don't want to pinch the cords. And we're just going to tuck it in there like that for now. While we have the back off, we're going to keep it off and we're just going to try and build this up so we can build up the roof. First thing we'll do, this is a one by two double brick, but basically what you need is two one by two bricks on top of each other. It's the same thing. You're just gonna put it right there. And then what we're gonna do is we're just gonna take two singles. So these are one by ones, and we're just gonna poke them in right on this side. Just, you guys can see that I have the plug in on that side. So there's not much I can do my hands. I can't put a double in there, so I'm just gonna put the single in there. And these are gonna be flush. These two are gonna be flush. Right at the back, basically, I have what is a bunch of one by twos, four bricks and a plate. And if I put it right on top of there, you're gonna see that all of these are now flush right here. And then I'm gonna take a brick, and it doesn't matter what color brick. This is a one by four brick, and we're just going to put it right on top of there. And so looking down, this is what it's gonna look like. Looking from the back, it's gonna be a wall. And we're just gonna have this covered. Now we have to seal it up with a roof. So we're gonna build the roof. I've got four of these blue slopes. I'm not sure what these slopes are called. I think slope 45s. Anyways, they're in blue. And we're gonna take a two by four plate, it doesn't matter what color. And we're just gonna put them all on top of there like that. So the plate looks, you can't see the plate underneath, it doesn't matter what color, but the roof should all be blue. We'll do that and we're gonna put it over here. So these little openings, we're gonna take a one by two plate, doesn't matter what color, put one on there. And then we're going to take another one by two plate also, it doesn't matter the color and put it on top of that. So we have two plates stacked there. We'll do the same thing to this side. Careful once again not to pinch the wires. But once we have these plates in place and on there, you're gonna realize that they're flush with this brick right here, right on top. We've got our roof. We're gonna secure it, we're gonna secure it here, here, and across here. And there you have it. That is the basis of Gordon in there. We've got his motor on. Let's get the back on. What I've got is I've got the blue cargo train. I've just removed the front end of that. Gordon's a big train, so he needs a big front end, big powerful. I'm gonna put it in the back three of these. And there we have our Gordon. So here's Gordon in all his glory. I've already looked at these decorative train parts, these sides. Uh, Spencer has them in light bluish gray. They only come in black and light bluish gray. They don't come in blue, unfortunately. But uh, if anyone wants to paint a couple of these for us, that'd be super awesome. Whoa! And let's try them out. Let's go ahead. And he is going really good here. Gordon on this short track that we have. Wow, you're just called. Stop. And forward. forward. And here's Gordon. Stop. Gonna have to build a bigger track and see how he works on curves and stuff. On the very back, we have this one stripe that isn't doing anything. I think we got this one by six flat plate with the flat top. Liam, can you put that on there? And that'll put the accent on the back. And then on the front, we have a scoop. What I've got is I've got three of these red scoops and just a black underlay. Liam, can you put this on? Now, what we can't decide yet is with Gordon is should we keep these colors in red or blue? or black? I choose red. You think red? Yeah. I think red as well, but guys, we want the viewers to decide to tell us whether you like the black or blue or red. Guys, just get in the comment section. You can put black, blue, or red to pick your favorite. 
and you're gonna help us decide. I think that we like red. Let's just go with red for today. We're gonna order all these pieces here that are in gray and black as well, but essentially there's Gordon. He looks a little gray at the back there and his wheels should be blue, I think. But what do you think overall of our Gordon, William? I think he's really awesome. Gordon, the big blue sausage, are you ready for the test run? Let's go. Are you counting how many speeds you have? What are you at? Six. Six? I'm at six. And he's kind of leaning on the curves, but he's coming up good. Try one faster. Hey, it's at seven. Is that seven now? He's going really good on the tracks. Yeah. I don't see any lean on him whatsoever. Do you want to go eight? Eight. Yeah, you can hear him accelerate. He's kind of leaning when he comes around the corners yeah, now. Yeah, I can see that. You can see him lean? Yeah, he's leaning. This Did... is as fast as he can go. That's it? Uh, this is ten. Keep going up. Just keep hitting up. See what happens. Oh, I saw him lean. Yeah, he's leaning really good. This is as fast as he'll go. And he's going full speed, folks, on these turns. This is absolutely awesome. Gordon, I think this guy's a success. Not quite streamlined, but still. Okay, let's see if we can do this. We're just going to tap onto the trailer and go. And there's Gordon. There he is, maximum speed. And that's Gordon right there. Here he is, fastest and best. I pull the express. So overall, we're quite pleased with the way Gordon looks and how he runs. He is absolutely perfect the way he is with that build. He looks fantastic. Gordon, Spencer, and we even have Diesel 10 made out of Lego now. We're kind of curious who you guys want to see next uh, converted from Duplo to Lego or who we should make out of Lego. Guys, get in the comment section. Let us know which trains you want to see on Lego.